Uh, I've been involved in LUSA over 30, 35 years, I think. And uh, everybody tell me I'm the senior among equals. I want to welcome you to NUSA 2013, day two. The conference actually started 38 years ago in 1975. Uh, we've held it across the country in a variety of different locations. This year is in Minneapolis, next year will be in Eugene. But what it does is it basically attracts neighborhood leaders from across the country to come together and you know really look at things in a new light. It's, it's diverse. You meet young, old, black, white, Latino. I mean, it's just amazing. Community organizing, bringing new voices to the table has been about being the right thing to do, and it is. But today, it is also the smart thing to do. We too often look at community inclusion as being something that's about saying, gee, everybody deserves equity. And that's true. But the fact of the matter is, right now, we need every voice more than we ever have. So years ago, in the old school, it was based upon confrontation kind of things, but now it's cooperation and collaboration. Give a big round to our keynote speaker, Mrs. Carter. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Because we know that given an opportunity between people making a living doing alienating and, and illegal things, and making a living, having opportunities you know, that, that, that show dignity in their work, chances are they'll take the thing that, that provides a sense of dignity for themselves. We've spent so much time thinking about, um, you know, and even building the, the tributes to all of our collective failures. We all have the capacity, and especially you all have the capacity, to start building monuments to hope and possibility. You know, I'm excited to be here because it, it, because these are my people. You know, NUSO really does embody the idea that you can work from the inside to build your community, and I'm just really happy to have been a part of this conference. NUSA brings together the people at the front lines of making cities a better, more interesting, more lovable place. And it's a real privilege for me to be able to speak to those folks, uh, to hear from them, and maybe share a little inspiration and a few ideas that maybe they will take back to their own communities to make them a better, more interesting, more lovable place. But the thing is, is when you're down there in sort of that technical weeds, chances are you're going to get a pretty technical solution to that problem, right? But I want you to do this. The next time you're in one of those meetings, or the next time maybe you're in front of you, you're with city council and you're trying to you know, brainstorm something, I want you to raise your hand and I want you to go, okay, I see what we're doing here, but where's the fun? Because by asking that question, you are changing the dynamic of the way people are thinking about the problem. Use that question. Ask that question a whole heck of a lot. You will get better outcomes for asking that question. We're going to have a lot of fun this evening. We've got great plans for all 12 tours. We're on a bike trail, getting there. This is what it's about right here. Now, I know a lot of people went on different tours, but I found out and I talked to different people. The bike tour was the best. It was the highlight, so I must say that. The gentlemen was great. They knew a lot of information about the area. They was able to educate us on how to get more bikes involved in our local community. Noosa, neighborhood, USA, once again, Got us having fun. And we're the directors of Juxtaposition Arts, and we hosted a neighborhood tour uh, this afternoon looking at arts and culture as a, uh, a sustainable, more equi equitable uh, method for uh, generating community vitality. Um, there were no opportunities for kids to participate in high quality, comprehensive arts learning as a pathway uh, to uh, future uh, development. You don't have to always do things the way like society wants you to do it, make it look as attractive as you think it's supposed to be. So I'm always doing things. I want to make it look a certain way to be appealing. Right. But it has sometimes like let it be contra contradiction or some contra contradiction. Yeah, right. yeah. So, so you so have freedom to express stress. it in a different way. Way, right, yes. Exactly. Um, I'm not really heavily involved in arts and expression and things like that, but it really helps you put things in a different perspective. And we're going to be looking through um, uh, six lenses of, of uh, community assets, and, and our hope is that the activity will help you all think about your own community. So I had politics control who was in charge. 
Birmingham, Alabama, who was in charge, and around, I have together, together, together. And then you open it up, and everything in here says, all these say work together or together. Most of our stops will have different cooperators come and tell you about their specific co-op models on the bus. I was interested in the co-op movement. Uh, in Chicago, we've had some co-op uh, operations that have come and gone, and I've always wanted to take time and learn more about what it was all about. I'm from Japan. What was your favorite part of the tour? Warehouse? Because the, um, I, I know the uh, cooperative, cooperative is a food co-op or the uh, bike co-op, but uh, I've never seen the warehouse uh, co-op. I really liked seeing um, the variety of co-ops. Like, I always considered co-ops as being a grocery store co-op. So seeing that you can do a warehouse co-op and the bicycle co-op was really interesting. And I'm from Eugene, Oregon, which is going to be hosting the 2014 New Sun. We're also uh, a very active community. We have a really healthy, strong system of neighborhood associations that are very engaged in the community. We've also done some very cutting edge things in Eugene around sustainability and recycling and local food production. We're happy to be in Minneapolis and we'd love to have everyone come to Eugene to continue this important work. Getting together and meeting others from other neighborhoods, other cities, other states, and understanding what they're doing to improve their neighborhoods and to bring neighborhoods together collectively as communities um, is a great way to network and get information and take it back to your own community.